This video from Sam4S Help, we're taking a look at receipt header programming on the NR500 series. So in this video I've got a 510R, uh, the process will be the same on the 520R, they're the two raised keyboard versions. If you've got a flat keyboard version of the 500, so either the 510F or the 520F, please check out my other video because the, the process is uh, slightly uh, similar but it's uh, different and there is a specific video on those. Okay, so this machine I've literally just wiped so it's now out the box. Um, blank machine, so if I log in, um, put a sale through. If you've had your machine programmed by a Sam4S dealer, then they'll have done your receipt header message for you. But you can see on this one, I've just got the default um, generic message. But we're going to show you how to put your business name, uh, maybe a website, phone number um, message on there, and then that will give you. Um, show you the right areas of the programming to how to set that up and, and which buttons to press. So in addition to the re register and knowing what you want to appear on the receipt header message, you'll also need the P key, uh, PGM key. Once you've got that in the key lock, turn it around to PGM. You can either press eight and cache, or so when you press eight, it brings up messages and then you press cache amount 10 to go into it. To start with, we're looking at the preamble message. That's what appears at the top. Cache to go into it, and you can see there, that's the default message that uh, Sam4S have got loaded on the machine for you. To edit line one, cache takes you into it. The back, there's a couple of buttons you need to be aware of. Here is backspace. So you press that once, it clears the existing line. As default, um, the, the letters will be in caps, but they won't be in double size. So I'm going to do my top line, Sam4S help in double size, and then my other lines, um, well the next two lines down, I'm going to do in lowercase, um, smaller size as well, just so you can see the difference. So double is over there, um, and then you can type in. So the letters, it takes a bit of getting used to, but they're laid out on some of the function buttons. So you've got A over here, um, M here, your numbers are here. R S Sam 4 S Sam 4 S help so it shows you what you've done when you're happy with that line cash amount 10 saves it and takes you back to the main screen so you can see Sam 4 S help is now the top line so we arrow down to line 2 backspace to get rid of what's on there as standard um, now we're not going to use double size and we're also going to use uh, lowercase. So you have to press the caps button here. That takes it into lowercase. And then now we can pop in our website. Okay, www.sam4shelp.co.uk, cash amount 10 to save, and then let's pop in a phone number, so line 3. So I'm going to delete what's there, backspace, uh, capitals is already on, so I'm going to do TEL. Space. There it is. And then the numbers, you basically just type in like that. So I'll put in five for an area code, space, and then again, like a normal line, save with cash amount 10. We want to delete that please call again, because it's going to look a bit odd there. So just backspace on that one. And then escape cancel gets you out of there. Key back round to the reg, copy receipt, 
So we've got Sam4S Help, www.sam4shelp.co.uk, and then a uh, sample phone number. So that's how you do the receipt header message. If you go back into PGM 8 and then cash to go into it, you've then got the post amble. So you could, if you want to, it's blank as default, but entering it is the, the same process. So if you wanted, um, let's go thank you for your custom. Why oh you thank you it centers it as standard which is quite nice I've had other machines in the past we've had to mess around putting in spaces to get it to center Thank you for your custom. That might look a bit odd, but I, just, I wanted to just show you that you can put those messages in. Um, clear is your way out. Take you back to messages, back to program mode, back to the head of program mode. When you're on this screen where program mode 1 PLU is at the top, you can turn the key back to reg. Um, if we pop another sale through. You've got your bottom message in. I mean, that looks to me that doesn't look quite right, but obviously you could do it in bold if you wanted it all in bold. You just got to remember the double button over here to press at the very start of it. Uh, but that's how you do it. Um, so yeah, you can mess around with that to your heart's content. Um, so if you're programming a 500, check out our other videos, some of which will be appearing now, showing you how to program the 500 series. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit samforshelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.